Hello, uh, Sam here. I am uh, Kill De Leon on the server for uh, Scud Pie Show, and uh, I today got my uh, Pie Show merch. Got a Pie Show board. Got some Pie Show tiles. Uh, one of each set. And here's the unboxing. Even though I already unboxed it, not good at these videos. Or really, really, really not good at editing. So it's just gonna be one big dry run. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've already got the board partially laid out here. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a, an idea of just the sheer quality of craftsmanship here. Um, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, he uses a uh, a Glowforge, which is a type of uh, it's a brand name, it's a type of uh, uh, laser engraver, to both cut these out. Uh, the pieces out to computer uh, d like already pre-designed uh, specs um, and he was really really careful about um, making sure that everything is um, just really accurate to the show um, I love the addition of these dovetail cuts that allow you to break down the board and piece them together absolutely beautiful so um, didn't really have that one in frame but I will try to uh, do this one handed here and get it this is just they're just, I mean, everything's done computer etched, so it's, it fits better than a glove. <laughs> it fits like a tailored glove. Um, likewise, these corner pieces here. Sorry about the glare of the light. I don't have very good lighting. I feel incompetent right now trying to do this one-handed. So there we go. That fits in there like that. Likewise. This piece like that. And up top, trying to make sure everything's staying in frame and align these up at the same time. It's a test of uh, hand-eye coordination. All right, so there's the completed board. Give that a look. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice job, Mr. Scud Pie Show. Mr. Scud. I don't know if I'm allowed to use your actual name, so I won't. So there's that. Just beautiful. If you notice, I actually got, I was I was fortunate. He was able to find one. Um, this is fully transparent. Uh, I think I already said this, though. Uh, I, I designed the uh, bag, the new Vagabond Pie Show tiles, and so this was payment. This is, he paid, he's, he would pay me in merch, and, uh, more than I ever expected. Uh, it was really, really good. Um, and paid me in some, I got, I've got tiles too, so we're gonna open these tiles here. And just take a look at them. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. So these are the Scud Pie Show tiles. These are in, uh, in white maple. Man, these are gorgeous. Very, very pretty. See, that's the that's your orchid and your uh, sumi. I don't know which one's which, I forget. Yeah, rhododendron, I remember that one. White lily. Uh, white jade. Man, I'm gonna get corrected later. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm wrong on some. Chrysanthemum, I know, chrysanthemum, ooh. These are, uh, so you can look at the designs all day on the on the app or the website, but seeing them in person, so these are the uh, the, the regular version, and I'll show you the, the negatives later, the ones that are darker, the dark ones. Seeing these in person is just fantastic. I mean, guys, totally worth the money. <laughs> I mean, I know it, or it is certainly worth the time to design those other tiles. Um, man, totally worth the money. Uh, I would have, I would have saved up and bought these if, uh, if if I didn't, you know, earn them the other way. What else going on here? Which ones are these? Oh, those were the dark ones. These are the white ones. These are the regular ones. 
Let me get this set up for you here. I know I'm not as entertaining to listen to as other YouTubers. <laughs> I'm not a YouTuber. I just want to help this guy out because, man, he makes some beautiful stuff. And Pi Show is such an amazing game. And if you're watching this video, you probably agree. This is the White Lotus tile, but it's it's a bigger version. It's bigger than the other ones. And it is his business card. Heck of a business card, if you ask me. Absolutely beautiful. Something like uh, perfect size for just kind of, you know, flipping through your fingers, except I can't do that very well. <laughs> Anyway, take a look at these tiles. That's what we're here for, right? It's absolutely beautiful. All right, not to totally dismiss these, but get more, more to go, more to go through. separate. Alright. These are the ah, the capture pie show tiles. Now I have not played Capture Pie Show very much, admittedly. I uh I've been focusing more on the Vagabond and Scud Pie Show and kind of saving it for, if, if ever, for some reason, those start to kind of dull or something, you know, as far as my attention goes. I love that these are, I don't know what the term is, dodecagonal? Dodecagonal? Wow, that was dumb. Um, there's 12 sides to these pieces. They are not circular, but they are crazy gorgeous. I believe these are walnut, and he sent me, I, I told him, uh, when he asked what kinds I wanted, he said, uh, I told him, user, or er, uh, maker's, maker's preference on the, on these tiles, so he sent me walnut, and he sent me white maple, and I think the contrast in the two, in between the two, is gorgeous. I did not think about mixing my woods. Uh, he suggested it, and I kind of, I don't know. I'm really glad he did. Those are very, very pretty. Um, I think that is also... No, yeah, that's... So these are the Capture Pie Show tiles. Alright. This is turning into a long video. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm not really... I'm computer savvy and in different ways uh, as far as, like, designing stuff goes and hence the tiles, but not on editing, so my apologies. These are the canon tiles, uh, meaning there are five tiles shown in the show, and uh, the creator of the SCUD website and the, uh, the SCUD Passion website, the um, app, and all of that, uh, went through vigorous lengths uh, to recreate the tiles that were shown in the show as closely as possible to as uh, to the ones that were shown, um, so just a brief uh, look at these. So these were kind of painstakingly crafted after what was what was shown in the show. So good on you, man. That was very nicely done. And fun fact, actually, the the uh, the wheel tile and the uh, white lotus tile. Those tiles are also duplicated. Those are the one, same same tiles, designs used in the Vagabond Pie Show. Um, I did not design those. He already had them, and they were so well done, we figured why try to replicate something that's already perfect. And uh, so we use those. I will show you the other ones, though, that we did create. Uh, we did design. And these are not part of the same shipment. He sent those to me early because I designed them before and he was excited to show me. So I gotta walk over here into the cabinet and find my tiles. All right. 
Sorry about the poor videoing. I'm gonna stop apologizing now. I've done that enough. All right. So mix in here, I've got my, <laughs> got the ones from the print and play, so that I can play some scud pie show. If I can just dump all of this out and separate them. The print and play is great. If you don't have money, go on the website. Uh, it's a lot of paper cutting, but man, you can, if you laminate them, the papers first, which I did not, and then print them out, you have your own pie show. There's a, there's a board that you can print and play, and there's the tiles that you can print and play, and that's for Scud Pie Show, uh, which is just an excellent game. So let me get these out of the way first, all these print and play ones, show you the real good stuff. All right. So there's seven different tile types for each player. And this was a real, real fun thing to design. Uh, I, would, I would draw stuff out on paper, send it over to uh, Scud. He would tell me what he liked, what he didn't like. We would collaborate, and a lot of times I got lucky in his, uh, you know, I'd, I'd go through a couple of designs and we, we, we really agreed on uh, stuff. He's a really nice, very agreeable guy. Um, and uh, so that's what we ended up doing. Got these tile designs ready to go. I was, I was ever since I was a kid, I loved the Avatar The Last Airbender show. It's always been one of my favorite shows. I know I'm like an adult now, but I still love it. It's just a well told story. And I have looked, I have looked for Pie Show so many times growing up. So when I finally found that this was an actual thing, um, this last time going through the show, uh, man, I got so excited. And so to be able to say that I was a part of the design of a version of Pie Show, is extremely special to me. Um, this game is a phenomenal version of the game, taken from a from a, uh, a uh, fan fiction called Gambler and Vagabond, uh, about an airbender in the time of Kiyoshi. Uh, I don't know why I'm being so meticulous about setting these up. Maybe it's because they have like special like significance for me. Anyway, let's take a look at these tiles. So we've got the wheel tile. I already we already talked about that one. That was pre-designed by Scud himself. We got the chrysanthemum tile. Got the white, white dragon and the uh, the uh, fire lily. They kind of work as a unit there. Um, we got the uh, sky bison, kind of flying around each other like they're shown as babies sometimes doing uh, in the show. And we got the badger mole tile. This was a fun one. This was one that we actually collaborated. We could not figure out a good representation of the badger mole. We tried. Uh, I was on paper. We tried design after design after design. I'd send it over. He says, nah, I, you know, a little bit more symbolic and oh, no, maybe like a little bit less this or that. And we finally kind of came up with this. Uh, he liked a version that I did of a front facing badger mole. Uh, and then drew something really similar to this. Uh, it kind of sketched out, and I said, "That's that's really nice. I like that." So I went and designed it, and basically just cleaned up, cleaned it up. And so it was it was a real collaboration. The badger mole, uh, going back and forth, trying to come up with the best design. So you can, you know, you get the indicative, uh, the the pointy ears and the stripes, and of course their claws that they always out to the side and that they uh, bend earth with. And then just the dark versions of these. Oh, of course he had the uh, the white lotus already designed. And then we get the uh, the inverted versions of them too, which you know just worked out really really well. Uh, trying to whittle down something to a very symbolic form, and I tried to design these in such a way that, uh, the, the symbolically very keeping the essence of the whatever animal or flower type it is while making it symbolic enough that it might be uh, something that could be seen in an era that was you know 300, 400 years ago. Um, anyway, that's that. Uh, if you are familiar with Scud Pie Show, or if you're familiar with Pie Show in general, these are excellent tiles to buy, to have at your arsenal. Um, there's a lot of them in. I tell you what though, they are all worth the money, um, because the quality that went into these tiles, and especially these boards, um, I was going to say, this, this board I was able to find, uh, he was able to find one. This is the classic style board where, uh, the grid goes all the way out to the edges, and I really liked that because that, for me, what was in the sh that was what was in the show. And he was able to find one that he had sitting around and send that to me. I don't think he makes these anymore, um, but uh, I was really blessed to be able to get one of these. And 
Yeah, man. So thank you, Scud. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, it was a pleasure being able to design these with you. And uh, man, I, 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 hope, I hope that people, when they see this video, they can see just the, the just sheer quality of the build of these tiles. Um, in video, that's sometimes a little bit better than, than just looking at photos. So man, you've done a heck of a job bringing a, a childhood dream to life or at least an aspect thereof and uh, really appreciate it so thank you very much and guys thanks for watching <laughs> hope I wasn't too boring and that this wasn't too drawn out to listen to but uh, alright God bless you guys thank you